what's going on guys welcome back to tactical talks so this video we're going to be talking about something that we don't necessarily talk about too much and it's kind of how to do some things i'm not necessarily teaching you guys how to be tactical or how to clear a house um, if anything this is probably going to be one of the videos that youtube doesn't like me posting but i wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of uh, just basic tactics this isn't going to make you mr tactical this isn't going to make you the best uh house clearer or building clearer, whatever the case is. But in a self-defense situation, I'm hoping that this will kind of help you out inside your house if somebody were to break in. So some of the first things to keep in mind are for a majority of you guys who aren't law enforcement, aren't military, just kind of everyday uh, hobbyists or gun owners, some of the stuff that I say may not apply to you because the way that I've been trained and taught is to keep you know, my base plates on, on my front of me facing the threat so that when and if I get hit, it hits directly into um, my plate carrier. What you don't want is to enter a room sideways and get shot under your arm where you don't have any coverage or maybe just a side plate that's very low down here. So I'm going to be talking about that for a second. The other thing I'm going to be talking about is how to round corners. Um, that's going to be kind of the, the main basis of this video is if you're in your house, if, you know, let, let's say your, your friend says, hey, I think there's somebody in my house. They've called the cops, whatever the case is, but you, you live, you know, a house over, two houses over. There's some kind of threat that you need to get to. This is going to help you find, you know, that, that enemy or that, that person faster and then at that point, you make your decision on what you're going to do with that. I'm not telling you to go around and start shooting everybody. But pretty much, the first thing that we're going to look at is just your very basic, very simple, something that you guys see pretty much everywhere, kind of what I just did a second ago, every movie, everything that you ever that you watch. It's the kind of hook, and you swing in to clear a room. Now, in this situation, this is more of a hallway, but we're going to simulate that this is an open room here. And then as I'm coming down the hall, I can already see into the room. At that point, I have my gun up. I got my arms tight. Now, I'm not telling you that this is the 100% correct way or this is the best way. I'm just telling you and showing you this is what works for me. You stay in here. You keep your arms tight. It's going to make you a smaller target. So when I come through, I want to keep everything tucked in as small as possible so I'm a smaller target coming down. Now, whenever you're coming... To hook into a room like this, what I like to do, what I've been taught to do, is you don't want to step too short, and I know you guys can't see my feet, but you don't want to step too short where you're not even in line with the wall, and I'll show you why. If I step and my foot is behind this wall, when I come and hook here, I immediately have this wall to worry about. I can't swing out as far. My arm, if my arm isn't tucked in as tight, I'm going to hit here, and it's going to cause more of an issue when I go into that room if there's a threat hiding in that corner. The next thing you don't want to do is to step and then try to sneak in. You want to be you know, very precise with your moves and you want to mean what you're doing. What I mean by that is when you step, you come in. Now, in some situations, I'll do this because you want to scan the room. As I was saying, very precise with my moves somewhat quick when we're going into a situation like this so when I step scanning 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 here now one thing that you have to look at is right now this I'm using an AR pistol for this simulation sometimes you don't have the luxury of having something this small or this short so you're going to be telegraphing as you're coming into that room so what some people do like to do is they'll get that in my situation an arm brace but they'll get that buttstock under their shoulder so that when they come in they can push directly into that corner. If I already know there's nothing else in the room as I'm coming up, then I can do that, take a big step out, tuck, and I'm here. I can fire from here without an issue so that if there is a threat, as I'm turning my body to keep my, my front plate facing the threat, if something happens if I, and if I engage a threat, I can start to fire from here and come out and get a more accurate shot. So that's number one. Like I said, make sure you step out, come up here, and then you start firing at that point. You fire, boom, you're good, and you want to stay here. The next thing you want to make sure when you're coming into a room like that or you're coming around a corner is that you're not off balance. 
Don't come in and cross your legs and do all this other crazy stuff. You want to keep what we call that fighting stance to where at all times you're on balance. I want to be leaning forward. When I come in and step, I'm ready. I'm here. I'm leaning forward. So as I'm shooting, whether it's an amount of recoil, whether it's getting hit, as I'm getting pushed back, I have a strong base to work off of. At that point, I can step forward and continue to engage the threat, or I can shuffle and move around without crossing my legs, without taking myself off balance. So that's kind of tip number one for you guys, for those of you who've never done any kind of building clearing, room clearing, anything like that. Like I said, make sure that you pass this wall far enough that when you swing around, your arm, if it's not already tucked in, isn't going to be bumping into walls. The next tip that I have for you guys, if you're in a situation like that where you're clearing a house, now if it's your house, it's probably going to be easier. Excuse me, it's probably going to be easier because you know your house. You walk in and out of your house every day, all day. You know all the nooks and crannies. You know the corners. It makes it easier for you. If you go to a building or a house that you are not familiar with, it's going to be very hard for you to know, okay, when I make this corner, there's a room over here or a closet over there. So some of those things we just don't know. In a situation like that, unless there is an active threat, then it's not necessarily a time sensitive thing. I can take my time getting into that hallway, going into that room and finding what threat I have, if any. So in that situation, what you wanna do is you're not necessarily looking for a person, as weird as that sounds, you're looking for body parts. And what I mean by that is, when people stand, they'll tuck behind the wall, they'll try to tuck in the corner to hide, well their feet will stick out a little bit. So you want to scan as you're coming around a corner. I have my base. There's a corner here. So what I want to do is have my, my firearm ready. And what I'm doing without moving my feet is slowly pushing forward. I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. And I'm looking down, up, down, up. Do they have a hat that's sticking out? Can I see toes from their feet sticking out where their feet are pushed out and their, their body's pushed back? So I push, 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 push. Boom, I don't see nothing, I'll tuck back, take a small step forward, and I'll do the same exact thing. Feet planted, start pushing forward. Push, 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 nothing. Okay, lean back, step forward, push, 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 nothing. Now, here in a second, what I'll try to do is I'll try to get the camera mounted up on here and show you guys what that looks like as far as the point of view of the shooter, as far as that being you going in and clearing a building or clearing a house. So hopefully you have a little bit better understanding of the kind of uh, uh, tactical advantage that that gives you. So again, by no means am I trying to teach you guys to go out and, and hunt people or, or make this a career by any means or make you a professional. This is just my two cents of this is what I've been taught. This is what I've learned. This is what works for me. So again, feet planted, push forward, push forward, push forward, nothing, step. Push forward, nothing, come back, step, push, push, push. And the moment you see a foot, you see a hat, at that point you know I have a threat. That's up to you to decide what you're going to do next. In our situation, what we'll normally do as a police officer is I'll let, let it be known I can see you. Come out with your hands up, come out with your hands up, show me your hands, stuff like that, to let them know here is your last opportunity to come out willingly. At that point, if they don't come out willingly, then of course we gotta escalate our use of force and then kind of just go from there. So, like I said, give me a second. I'm gonna try to get a camera mounted up to this AR pistol to show you guys that point of view. Let me know what you guys think about these tips. Not trying to make you a professional by any means. Not saying I'm a professional by any means. I just have a little bit of time and training and this is what I've learned. So give me one second, guys. So I know you guys can't see that right now this phone camera is mounted up onto the pistol, but this is gonna be the point of view that you're gonna have while doing this. So I'm gonna walk you through it, and then you'll see what this looks like. So as you can see right now, there's a wall here. So we're trying to get around this corner. And like I said, we're not looking for entire people, we're looking for body parts. So as soon as you see the bill of that cap, as soon as you see the tip of that shoe, or whatever the case is, at that point, that's when you make yourself known. So here, we have our feet planted, and right now I'm just sliding forward without moving my feet. 
So, okay, I can't see nothing, so I'm gonna come back, baby step forward, puts us right back to where we just saw, and start pushing. Push, lean, feet planted, feet planted, boom, I see something. You can see it down there, bottom left. At this point, you make yourself known, or you can pull back and know, hey, it's time to engage. So at that point, we take big step forward, come around the corner. Well, I just hit the camera because of how wide this thing is. Let's try that again. So we made it to about here. We were able to see the tips. Step forward, turn, boom. Obviously, there's not somebody there in that corner because I wasn't going to point a live gun at them, whether or not it was clear. But we just have shoes set up so you guys can see what that looked like. Again, feet planted, start leaning, leaning, leaning. Boom, tip of the shoes. We're still, as you can tell, we still have cover here using this corner. At the angle that I'm at, I can see them. They cannot see me yet. Now, with this kind of ridiculous phone set up the way I have it on here, it's kicking out wide enough that they might be able to see me at this point. But in a normal situation, they're not going to be able to see you just looking down the line of this wall. So that's how you get that done. So I got the shoes set up. You guys obviously already saw what it looks like when we come around the corner and see those shoes. And this is a crazy contraption. Let's see if I can get this off of here. One second. This is the crazy contraption that I'm using right now. I had to put my phone on there since I'm recording with this camera. But yeah, so the, the clip that you just watched was filmed using this crazy contraption to where wherever the pistol is pointing, the camera is pointing. So if you're wondering how I got that angle, that's how I did it. You can buy that little part there on Amazon. That's just a GoPro to tripod mount and then just a little cell phone holder with a cell phone on it. I still got everything mounted up on the pistol. As you can see, there's my rear sight and everything. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Like I said, I'm not trying to make you guys the most tactical people out there. I'm not an expert by any means. There's guys that have been doing this way longer than I have who are way better than I am. The thing is, this is the, the, the training that I've had, whether it be, set that down, whether it be military training or whether it be law enforcement training, that's what I use. That's what works for me. If you're ever in a situation, and I hope you're not, but if you're ever in a situation where you feel like somebody's in your house and you have your weapon, and you need to clear your house. I'm a big proponent of calling law enforcement. Obviously, I'm, I'm a police officer, but excuse me. If for whatever reason you cannot wait that long, if there's a threat and you need to push forward, hopefully this gave you a little bit of information on how to make those things happen. So again, thank you guys for watching Tactical Talks, and I'll see you next week.